Soviet bias. Welcome Americans to your version of this video. Because I used a whole bunch of Hans Zimmer music during this video, I cannot, well at least it will be blocked in America as you can see here. So this video has the cinematics cut out and the music cut out because cinematics are not the same if they're quiet. I mean look at this, look at this. This is not the same is it? It's just footage. That isn't really special. So if you're wondering why you cannot watch the other video, it's because of the music. It's been blocked in the United States and a whole bunch of other American owned countries. I mean, unless you're living the VPN life, which you might, I don't know, I don't control your life. I'm not, I don't know who you are. You cannot watch the other videos. So this video is purely here for uh, people in America to see this. I mean, if you're from the other video and wondering what this is, th this is it. it. It's the same video, just without the cinematics and the music and the pretties. Because YouTube and copyright issues and I don't know, weird shit. Yeah, I mean, it's I. It's not the Object 263, which I'm an avid fan of, but it is... I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I thought I was going to absolutely despise this tank, but I don't hate it. The Object 268 version 4. The replacement in patch 9.22 of the Object 263 at tier 10. The Object 263 is, of course, going to be at tier 9. Part of the tech tree is over here. Not much has changed, except for the SU-12254 is gone. So what is the Object 268 version 4 all about? Stupid idiot proof armor. Wargaming is making their game even more stupid idiot proof. Think of the Type 5 Heavy, think of the mouse, think of the T125 before the nerf. It has stupid, fat, ridiculous armor. It's lower plate, you know, the big fat plate right down the middle, which you would think is a weak spot, is not an actual weak spot. That plate is 290 millimeters thick. You have to shoot the lower plate of the lower plate if you want to pen it, because that is only 100 millimeters at a ridiculous angle. The commander's cupola, or whatever it is, view range finder, I don't know what the word is for it, has 250 millimeters of armor. I've been shooting this, this particular view range port thingy multiple times, and it has always bounced. I have never penned it. The superstructure in the front next to the gun is 250 millimeters thick, angled back, 300 millimeters effective. The sides of it are 220 millimeters thick, but with the angling, if you're aiming straight on, is 600 millimeters. The weak spot of this tank are the lower plate of the lower plate and the upper plate. The upper plate is angled ridiculously, but the moment an enemy lowers his front and raises his behind, that plate is an easy pen as I've done with the enemy 268 version 4 in this game. It is fast. 55 kilometers an hour top speed. This tank will reach that easily. It, it will just straight up reach that speed. It is ridiculous. It is ludicrous. 55 kilometers an hour, you will just do it. The gun. Now, this is where the problems actually kind of start for the Object 268 version 4 in comparison to the 263. You have 650 alpha. It is a new alpha in World of Tanks. It is not the 550 of the 263. It is not the 560 that 1 to 8 millimeter guns have on the German tanks. It is a whole new alpha. Well, I, I mean, the alpha is nice. The alpha is all right. I just don't like the fact that I get 650 alpha damage compared to 550. But my reload increases 6 seconds. I get 100 more alpha and 6 seconds extra reload compared to the 263. The 263 has 10.26 seconds reload. The Object 268 version 4, this is all just 100% cruise, according to tanks.gg, 16.3, that's 6 seconds extra. Now this means a massive decrease in DPM. The 263 on screen, without any added things to it, has 3000, is that correct? 3216 DPM. 
3216 damage per minute. The 268 version 4 has 2392 DPM. We lose 900 DPM. According to Tanks on GG, this might all still change. It might be buffed. It might actually be nerfed because I've I, I look what I'm doing in this tank. If you give someone the 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 time to fire the gun and reload, it is it is scary this tank. But it's deep. It doesn't do things fast except for driving. The reload is long. The traverse speed on this tank, 24 degrees a second, is horrendous. It is terrible. I there is no turning. War gaming has made clear what they wanted to do with this line and that is to make it an assault tank destroyer line I, they've said it in their video this is now purely assault there is no camping in the back with 0.4 dispersion there is get into people's faces with 290 millimeters of lower plate armor and 250 millimeters of angled back superstructure armor this is get into people's face and shoot their dicks what Wargaming's intention is, like I said, be an assault tank. So that's what I'm exactly going to try and do in this game. Now, it's not the entire game because uh, it wasn't that special in the end. But this beginning shows you what you might expect if you want to play Wargaming's way. And that is balls to the walls YOLO. Now, I take a shot from the version 4. And I'm going to go in versus this, this, this French tank. And I don't have the... <laughs> the first speed to actually ram the French tank, but I mean I do ram the 705 for literally all of my health But it's fine because my alpha and he was on fire and everything is fine balls to the walls YOLO remember I'm still alive I, It would be great if my team came to help me, but hey, sh I they're coming to help me. This is amazing Still take a shot, but I have health to play with I have armor to play with I mean I somehow bounced a shot from the 705 a above me this is how Wargaming wants you to play this tank now. You have the speed to get into position quickly and the armor to survive it. I don't know. The Object 430U. Replacement at tier 10 for the Object 430. Not, not you. Me. You. No one. Is pretty much a one-to-one. -one. A Chinese tier 10 medium. It has 440 alpha. It has 300 millimeters of fat frontal turret armor. And uh, quite a good haul. But it's not as slow as the 113. So it gets penned more. I've noticed. So what is the 430 U in comparison to the 430? Well, the 430 is now tier 9. Well, at least in this patch and in the next patch. The current patch you're playing, 9.21.0.03.1, because Wargaming and their micro patches. What was I saying? Right, now, okay. Uh, the 430 U is now a new tier 10 with 440 alpha. It has lower DPM, and it has better turret armor, T62A levels of turret armor. But the main difference is, like I said, the gun. We're going to step away from the 320 alpha, and we're going to go for a higher alpha with lower DPM. This means that the 430 at tier 9 also gets a different gun. It is not 320 alpha like you might expect because it's a Soviet medium tank. No, no, it now has a 390 alpha gun. But this is about the 430U, not about the 430. I'm sure that it's it's going to be a good tank in it. It will lead up to the 430U in a good way that you understand how to play the 430U before you uh, unlock it by playing the 430. This is getting really confusing. Now, if you were to compare the T62A and the Object 140, man, all these names. Let's just say we're going to compare the Object 140 with the 430U. The Object 140 has 3000 DPM. That is 320 alpha with... A 6.3 second reload. It is just 100% crew. This is no equipment, no consumables, nothing. The Object 430U has 440 alpha, of course, 9.78 reload, and 2.7k DPM. So you only go down 300 DPM. Now, if you were to compare it with the old Object 430, you do lose quite a bit of DPM. The website would load. Thanks to GG, doesn't want to load, so I cannot read stats for you. So what does that mean for the gameplay? It's a lot slower. It is not as high 
fast-paced, adrenaline-rushed, I am on crack kind of gameplay where you can sit in the position, perma-track someone, and just keep on clicking that mouse button to kill someone. That doesn't happen anymore. You have to actually think more about your gameplay. It's a lot slower, it's a lot more calculated. And it's a nice change for the Soviets, but it's a bad change for the Chinese, because what's the point in the one-to-one -one now if you have the 430U? And the 430U actually plays kind of nice. If uh, The test server is a bit of a bad place to test tanks, test the armor of tanks. Uh, if you were to look at my hit log in the top left corner at any given time during any given match that I'm going to show during this any given video, that doesn't work, but go with it. Lots of premium! Lots of premium will be fired my way. And I don't like to fire premium on test servers. The reason for that is I want to actually test tanks how they play on the live server. Although I do fire quite a bit of premium on the live server because I have a lot of credits. To be honest, I spent 9 million credits getting new tanks and preparing for this particular patch. And of course, we have uh, the Object 705A that we also have to like go and figure out uh, later on in this video. But the 430U, it's, it feels nice to have 440 Alpha in a Soviet tank. Maybe because I haven't gotten the one-to-one -one yet. I don't know what else to say, really. It is... It's a lot more calm, a lot more calculated. The gun depression is still 5 degrees. The gun elevation is still somewhat good. The gun handling is not fantastic. But it, f it fits better with a 440 Alpha gun and longer reload. This kind of gun handling, there were 320 Alpha and like 2.9 second reload, whatever you had on the previous patch. Of course, there will be diehard fans that are sad to see the 430 leave tier 10. But this change is not as bad, particularly in my mind, as the 263. Because the 263 is novel. I will make a separate video about that change. Whereas the 430 kind of wasn't. It had bad gun handling. It had the fastest DPM. But the 907 was close to it, though. So it's... I don't know. I, I feel like I might actually enjoy the 430U more than my Object 430. But, I don't know, it's, it's alright. Can you tell that I'm not quite sure what to think of this tank yet? Because it just feels like the 113, the 1 to 1. It just feels like those tanks. And I don't know if this will be a good change. But it's a nice change for the Russians. Because now we don't actually have four identical tanks pretty much. The 140, 907, T62A and 430. Now we have three identical tanks. We're getting somewhere. The Object 705A. Side scraping, rear mounted, 650 alpha, highly armored, weak ammo rack, heavy tank of the Russians, the fourth one. The original, the best, the, the, the classic one, the IS-7, then you've got the IS-4, the Object 260, and now the first rear mounted heavy tank for the Soviets. And this tank is powerful. In the right hands, I have noticed, well, it's, it's a bit difficult again on the test server. You can't really, really test how tanks really work because everyone's firing premium and there's a lot of tanks of the same tier, um, tier uh, same type. So you're fighting against your own tank constantly. And on the live server, we will really find out how strong the Object 705A really is. Although I have seen people pull out some high damage games in these tanks and then i've at the same time seen people who cannot seem to pen a single shot they fire i've noticed with the 705a you cannot side scrape and slightly even slightly over angle the armor below the hull above the tracks is weak i can't tell you the exact numbers but it's not good you will see me aim there very often you saw the marker turn uh, green very very shortly there because it is a very that is if it's side scraping below the tracks or i mean below the hole above the tracks that is the, the ultimate weak spot because like the is7 if you find yourself hold down in the 705a there's no way there is absolutely no chance in heaven hell or purgatory that someone will pen you. They will have to revert to high explosive 
or flank you or just look for a different target. Again, I'm looking for a shot below the hole, but I was firing heat. His tracks eat it. My bad. That was the only heat I fired this match. And for some reason, this match was my best match so far in the 705A, XP-wise. I've got a different game. I, again, the marker turned green there for a split second, but I didn't fire it. I'm trying to find the shot. Can't find it. Ah, he turned. What a sad little case of the death he got there. What was I saying? Yeah, I've got a second game in the 705 coming up. 705A coming up after this one. This is a relatively short game. It's pretty much us fighting against other 705 because this is 705 Heaven. This was the f second day, I believe, on the test server. And I like it. I enjoy my 705A. Apart from that, it's not the fastest, but then again, it's a heavy tank. Uh, its armor is fallible. I, I still have no clue how he actually penned that. I can't see it. But it's... Its alpha feels good. Like, it's the second Tango 650 Alpha, apart from the 268 version 4. The reload, like I said, is not great, but you can just work with it. I... I'm really enjoying this tank on the test server right now. Um, I, I wouldn't say it would replace the i7, because the i7 still has that classic feel to it. But this is uh, a worthy tier 10 for the Soviets at, at the heavy tank uh, department. Ah, good old-fashioned Siegfried line. I have not played this tank in an open map yet. I haven't played it on Steps or Sand River or Prokhorovka or even Malinovka. I have not had the displeasure of doing that. I've played it mostly, if not only, on city maps. And I'll tell you, on city maps, this tank does do well. Especially if you're side scraping like this. There's a Fosh B somewhere back there. He is trouble penning me. He penned one shot because I slightly gave him my front plate. That E5 has no clue. But have a look at my uh, damage taken panel. That's pretty much just going to be premium. And spoiler, I will survive this match. So that should tell you something more about the armor of this tank. The Fosh B is trying again. The, the E5 gets a shot into that plate over there. It's... It's a weird shot, but it's, yeah, you know, it, it, the tank needs weak spots. So if I side scrape, I have to angle my tank and that plate becomes flatter for people shooting me. So that is the weak spot. And I'm glad this tank has weak spots apart from just the lower plate. Because I don't like what Wargaming has been doing lately. The Type 5 has no real weak spot in the front. The... The mouse, you know, weak spot is fire premium at the cheeks if he's looking at you with a lower plate. With the 268 version 4, the, the weak spots are fire premium at the lower plate or the commander's view range thing, McBobber, or the sides. I don't like what Wargaming is doing there. The tank, a tank, every tank needs some sort of weak spot in the front so you can fight it. And the 705A has that if you're side scraping. So you have to be very careful in this tank while side scraping. And side scraping is something I'm going to be doing even more in just a second. We are pushing through this town. Everything is fine. Everything is going pretty well. But I know for sure that I am going to get this tank uh, on the live server. I, I need it in my life. I Like I said, I have not figured out how it plays yet against... Or at least in open maps. On against artillery, it doesn't do well. The engine deck is of the weak variety. But it's... Uh, I like it. I didn't know what to expect of the 705A at the start. I was kind of hyped for it. And... Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know why the outline didn't pop up. But, I mean, I had a shot on him. So, everything is good. I didn't know what to expect of it. I thought that the gun handling was going to be a lot worse. I've noticed, I, I expected the gun handling of the 705, the tier 9, with the 130mm. That is terrible gun dispersion values, long aim time. I expected that on the 705A to give it some sort of 
a downside, but the downside of this tank is that it's relatively slow. Its traverse speed is a bit low as well, and the gun is mediocre. Gun dispersion values and aim time wise. Alpha is good though. Accuracy is heavy tank, what you can expect. So overall, of the three tanks that have been added to tier 10 at this, this current patch, uh, my, my opinion is the 705A is the best. The second one is, surprisingly enough, the 268 version 4 and the 430U is in last place because I... I can't figure it out yet. I figured out the 268 version 4. That's an absolute YOLO train of a tank. The 705A is semi-YOLO. However, you can tank very easily. And you have much more control because you have a turret and rear mounted. And the 430U is... I don't know. Like I said, I have to figure that tank out still. But that leaves, if nothing is going to change... Two more places at tier 10 for the Soviets because the 430 version 2 and the T10 will lead to new tier 10s. Now, there have been rumors, and I'm saying this is just rumors, I'm not confirming anything or denying anything, that the Object 777 version 2 will be the tier 10 after the T10. Wow, that's, that's a mouthful. And I think that the 705A... IS-4 and IS-7 will be better than the Object 777 version 2, unless they buff it. Speed and gun-wise. Other than that, I'd say this is a fairly good patch. But we're not done yet. No, 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 no. There's more. Also, no post-game stats, uh, because I got less experience, but I did do 6.2k damage. Yay! Now, I don't find myself in a situation in World of Tanks where I panic. This was one of them. And now you can also figure out how good or bad the armor is on the 705A. I am clearly very aggressive in this particular matchup. I accidentally drive in front of Ollie's shot. That's completely my bad. I will be even worse to Ollie later on in this game. I actually tried to protect Ollie here from this 705 because he is very interested in shooting. But eventually he hits me. And as you can see, a lot of premium, 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 premium being fired left, right, and center. I also decide I'm going to buy myself some premium ammo. Because, uh, well, this 705A was ramming me to keep me tracked. I've noticed you don't see that on the European server as much. But the Russians do it constantly everywhere. Every time I'm tracked, someone is ramming me in the side to keep me tracked. Don't you... People start doing that on EU because it's really annoying. Only I can do it. So far, uh, I'm starting to panic a bit now because tanks to the left of me, tanks to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with Ollie. I'm trying to angle left and right. I bounce the shots from the I-7. I bounce the shots from the 5A. That WZ is coming back. I block Ollie here from pulling back. So Ollie drives forwards. I blocked Ollie there trying to get out of the way for a shot. And this is where the armor starts to fail pretty badly. The 268 pens me. Actually, the 268 bounces off me. The other two pen me. And now they kind of seem to forget me. 75A tries to put a shot into me. And I am on so little health that no one really cares anymore. Which is weird. They're like, yeah, someone else will kill him. And I'm just here like, please don't see me. I'm completely invisible. But the FE405 has had enough. He is willing to spend, I believe, 8,000 credits on the test server to do 38 damage to me. I've had a good run. So that's the armor. It's, like I said, it's not great, which is amazing. It's not type 5 heavy levels of stupid. I think that the 705A is pretty balanced. Balanced in the way where a bad player can learn how to play it and a good player will have good games. Don't get me wrong. I like to, I sometimes like to just go into the battle results list and see what kind of people go on the test server. I ended second in this game on damage and experience. My top damage is 6.2k. You've seen that already. Blah, 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 blah. And 44% player from America has not played the 705A. This guy 
has played the 705 here because we can see it, yet it doesn't show up here. Nice meme, more gaming. This guy, 46% player, played 705A, no more. Because I feel that the 705A is a very, very good tank. But if we go, like, to just the average, below average players, five games, 40% wins, third class with 1,100 experience, 2.3k highest, 2k damage average. The Fosh B, 40% player, played 14 games in the 705A, actually got higher... <laughs> maximum experience with lower damage, more kills. So he must have been spotting his own targets. And the kills also really help in um, getting experience. Three 4K, 4K games, 47% player. Has played 705A first class. With 753 maximum experience. As a first class. Now I'm recording this. 10 minutes. After his last game was played. And he was in a 705A in that game. I mean, this game for me was a third class. And look what I did. I did 3.5k damage, 3k spotting, and I got a kill. And that's a third class. And it is a more base experience than he got with maximum experience. How did he do that? Well, obviously, I've played the 705A. These are my stats. 14 games, 46% wins. I don't know what I have to think about the 705A. It seems to be a really, really good tank if you know what you're doing. But I guess... I guess... it. If you know what you're doing, this tank will be overpowered. If you don't know what you're doing, it's a difficult tank to play. This is a pretty... Feels like high skill cap tank. Kind of like the IS-7. IS-7, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna suck. If you do know what you're doing, it's a great tank. Now, this gun is more forgiving than the IS-7. You have 150 more alpha. 160 even. 160 more alpha. I mean, I've had games where I felt like I did, I don't know, one shot of damage, maybe two, and I end up with two and a half K because you do so much damage with one shot. So, I don't know, I... Seems like it's going to be a really good tank. Here we have the Object 268 version 4, as we all know, and I don't know what you think of it. I don't, like I said, don't mind it, don't hate it, don't love it, whatever. I have the preset Soviet New Year style, which turns it very blue and a bit of orange. But mostly blue and a bit of white. But predominantly blue. So I thought, you know what, that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe put it on my Object 430U, maybe in the future. Uh, put it on. Yeah, that's, that's looks, that looks alright, I'd say. That looks pretty... pretty blue. Less blue, but still blue. But my intention was to put it on the Object 705A. There's a reason it is not on the Object 705A, and there's a Digicam on it instead, which doesn't look too bad. It's not blue! Now, some people might say, oh, well, that's not really that bad. The blue is a bit stupid. Yeah, but it has the blue paint here. And the fact that this is, as far as I know, the only tank which this happens on. Yo, it has a bucket. I never noticed it had a bucket. This is the only tank that it does this on. Because then I thought maybe it's just the heavy tanks that get it. So I checked on the IS-7. That was blue. Checked on the IS-4. That was blue. Maybe it is, uh... Premium, like, special tanks? Like, new tanks? Like, the IS-5 is somewhat... No, it's blue. Because it was blue on my Object 430U, I'm pretty sure it's going to be blue on... On my 140. I've seen people drive it blue already, so that's blue. The, uh, 54 Mod 1? Oh, it's blue. So, uh... We're gaming. Why, if I put it on my Object 4, third, or my Object 268 version 4, it is blue. But if I put it on my Object 705A, it is... Green. That's not blue. At all. Well, I don't have much to say really anymore. The Object 257 is slated to replace the T10 in the IS line. 
and I don't agree with the Object 257. It is a terrible design for World of Tanks. In real life, it's it's amazing. In World of Tanks, the T-22 medium was an absolute disaster. And that had the V-shaped hull. Wargaming had to nerf that tank into the absolute ground. And here they are back again with a V-shaped hull. Wargaming, if you do actually watch this video, which I'm surprised if you will, don't add this tank like it is now in patch 9.22.